Hey everybody, welcome to MC Kids Academy at Creekside Rec Center and today is week two of spring break 2022. I'm so excited and so happy that all of you are here this week with us. Um, so we are going to be playing on a mod pack called Mythopoeia. Mythopoeia is a really special mod pack. It's something that we have uh, created and recreated over the years. Um, and it's all about magic with a touch of technology called Tinkers. So uh, when you log in, which will be probably in a little while from now, um, because it's going to take us some time to mod your laptops, you are going to find yourself in a... Oh! You're not going to find yourself. Okay, no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, you're not going to be here. No, this is Mommy Bell's house. This is Mommy Bell's house. Oh, yes, I have an I have two villagers here now. This is our stable. Uh and Ben the Enderman lives here too with a What the flip? Is that? Uh Uh we have a new Okay, I just don't want to get close to whatever that is. I have no idea what it is. If I get close to it, what's going to happen? It's probably going to try to... What? It's a wraith! Ah... Uh, okay. Alright. I'm just going to... I'm going to go out and... Th Do you like my doors? Yes. I don't know where I got these Valhelsia structures. See, that's a really cool mod that we've got in this game. Uh, actually... Let me show you where you are going to arrive when you arrive. I am just going to right click my trusty waystone and I'm going to take myself back to spawn. Et voila, here we are. This is spawn. So this is a really cool place which has its own sort of storyline which I don't know, something about dwarves and Elves and and portals to places unknown. Um, so this is where you're gonna arrive, and you're gonna see um, some interesting things all around you. First of all, we have biomes of plenty. That's why you see these very colorful leaves. And you're gonna also see some. Oh, what's a traveling? Oh, somebody that you can buy seeds off of. Yes, that makes perfect sense. But what are these? Minted crystal. Hmm. So how do we get minted crystal? Let's have a look. I believe there is somebody we can go trade with who will sell us some minted crystal. And I don't know where he is. Oh, the nether is that way. Okay. Jar Collector, the Warp Warlock, and the Mystic Agent. Let's go check this out. Aha! This looks like the Mystic Agent. If I right click him, oh, I can buy Warp Scrolls from him. Very cool. And also those waystones that you saw. So that was where I had originally bought for 30 minted crystal. A waystone to put at our base. Now who else is here? Uh huh. Someone's here. Up there maybe in this jungle tree? Let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, this is the jar collector. Ah, so you can actually buy mobs. A pig in a jar, a cow in a jar, a horse in a jar. Oh my, an evoker in a big jar? Yeah, no. Oh, look, I can, if I can, wanted to, I could sell back my big jars, but I won't because I always keep three of them handy with me. So I can actually collect other mobs, which is pretty cool. So Big Jar is a mod that was made by an MC kid, or three, I should say, MC kids, 
who are now admins. Uh, and they made that uh, they made that mod last summer. Who is this? This is such a beautiful. Hello, Mr. Agent. Why are you just paying attention to that bobble of something here? I don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Ars Ecclesia, your guide to the supernatural? Is this a... Oh, okay. There's a few things here we can trade to the mystic agent for some mystical things. And I'm just sort of going all around this island trying to find the fellow who I can get our minted crystal from. I am not sure I know where he is. Hmm. I'm just going to keep looking. I think this fellow sells sandwiches. Yes. Ha ha ha, look at that. Yes. Do we have calories? Yes. I guess those, you know, we can always refer to the, the those things, you know, those chicken leggy things as calories. I don't know. Might be an idea. All right. So that's food. Um, this is our traveling farmer. And we just need to figure out where our... Maybe it's this fellow. Oh, Crystal Minter. Hello, sir. Do you have a way for me to buy some crystal... Some... Hang on. There it is. So, ten redstone dust. That's actually kind of... Probably a pretty good deal, hey? Mm-hmm. Minted crystal gives you one minted crystal. If we go all the way down, one gold gives you five. Not bad. What is this? Amber. Hmm. I would certainly go for some of these trades here. Copper. Three iron for one. No, no, no. This is definitely the best deal here. Everyone needs to go look for some redstone dust, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sir. Now I know how to get some money. Awesome. Awesome. From Asmond, the crystal minter. Wonderful. So from here, I would suggest um, it's actually going to take you guys a little bit of time to just load in the chunks here. Um, so it might be a little frustrating. You might be able, you might not be able to move around fairly easily. Um, but I suggest you just be patient. And you're going to have to be patient with a lot of things this morning, including some of the glitches that might actually happen with your laptops. Now, this is Immersive Portals. Check it out. I am in the nether. Isn't that cool? Uh, this is a 116.2 game, so you're not going to see some of the new features that are a part of the um, 118 version of the game. But you are going to find and see a whole lot more interesting things because we are playing modded Minecraft. That's the nether. Um, I believe there is a portal to another very ancient place called the Atum. And there are portals that are not yet open to places unknown, like that one over there. Okay. So I'm going to go down, back down to, to this waystone and I'm going to click on it and you can see there's, there are a number of people that, oopsie, I just moved myself up to there. Okay. That's me. I should really put spawn up there. Um, some of these places are protected. What is the portal room? Hmm. I have selected Marzerer. And there are some um, biomes that you can also start off at. So if you were to say go to the Rainforest Cliffs Warp, oh, somebody built here. Cool. You could then um, find a spot to go mining, chop down a few of those trees, and then see if... Um, you can get back to spawn to buy some. I hear cows. What? What 
what is going on here? That was very loud. There's so there's something going on down here. No, and I can't open up the door. But you can see on my mini map that there's some cows just directly underneath me. Hmm. Crazy. That's crazy. There's some trees there that haven't been chopped down properly. And there's also oh, there's some builds over there. Okay. So these would be builds from um last summer. Now, if I go to the next dryland warp. Oh, there's another there's a few more builds here. And you could just adventure out to find a place to call home. And again, I think mining would be the first thing that you might want to do as you can purchase food and um, pretty much all of the things that you need. Shrublands. I think this is where where we live. Where, oh dear, that's a creeper. Okay, so something else I want to show you. Don't have to worry about the creepers even though they're here and I have no arrows. Because this is what the creepers do. It's kind of fun. See? Yay. They don't... I don't think they do any damage to us, but I didn't quite get close enough for that, did I? Yes. Away, away. Alright. Oh! Okay. Yes, they do do damage. <laughs> Never mind. Um... So as we play, we try to um, make sure that we are respectful of other people's bases. So don't walk into other people's places and help yourself to things. Looks like there is a stable over here. Interesting. Let's go have a look if I can survive. I'm just going to run. There's a stable on top of a hill here. This actually looks really familiar. It looks like... What? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, okay. So, yeah. Not a good time to be out at night. There's werewolves here. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah, werewolves. And then we're back at Mommy Bell's house and Emmy Bell's house. Which is... a. Uh, I think somewhere over there, but I'm not 100% sure. So keep inventory is on. Don't have to worry about that. And while we have, oh man, look at me go. What is this? <gasps> Why is it that I can run so fast? What do you think? That's a mod. I have got something on my feet. There's something else that's about to attack me. So I'm gonna run! I thought my house was here, but I don't actually see it. I'm losing... I'm losing health, too. That's not good. So maybe... I'm just gonna run! Ah, those are creepers! Okay. Okay. No time to stop and smell the flowers. No, no. There's no shelter here for Mommy Bell either. Oh my. I want to show you my fancy running shoes, but I don't think I can. All right, let's just try to get get out of here. Um, so there are no commands that you can use, at least as far as I know. I don't think there's a command that would take me back to spawn. I would have to double check that though. I don't think we have slash spawn. Hang on. What we have are our, uh, the way, the, um, oh yeah, I need to eat something. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, this is quite the adventure. So, Tinker's Construct, you can see the slime island up ahead there. That's a pretty cool, oh, I think that's what I've got. No, I've got slime boots on. I also have, I have, I have armor, toughness, silver, silver, how is it that I'm running so fast? I don't even know what I'm doing. What is making this? 
What? Magma Walker? No. Unicorn Horn. How am I running so fast? This is not making any sense. Uh, there you go. An Outrunner. Um, so this Outrunner grants ability to gain a movement speed and step height boost after running for a certain distance continuously. Mm, okay. Now, I don't know that... Uh, you know what? I, honestly, I can't even remember where I got this from. So this is relics. I believe I found it somewhere. I found them somewhere. I don't believe they're craftable. Ooh, what's that? There's a village over here. Let's go check it out. I am very close to somebody else's protected area. You can see in the mini-map. Everyone will have a mini-map, so you'll be able to see where you are at all times. Um... I am on a gravel beach. I just really want to go home. And I guess I can't because we're back at... Oh, dear. All right, let's just run to this village. Let's run, 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 run to the village. Okay, has anyone been here before? Oh. Yes, someone's been here. Someone has been here. Oh. Somebody has been here. All right. Lovely little village. Mm -hmm. So I guess now is a good time to go through the mods that we have. And hopefully that's not something that's going to come to slay me. No, it's not. It's wandering traitor. It's a wandering traitor. And there's sheep here. And look at... Oh! somebody's house is over here and you can see this is a protected area so I'll show you how to also protect your lands once you find them let's just go see check out this house Ooh, somebody has big doors just like the ones I have Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Very nice. So, um, what you're going to be able to do is um, you're going to be able to use FDB chunks to... Oh, it's Elizabeth's place. Okay, cool. To protect an area and... Uh, you can add friends or allies um, and that will prevent mobs from spawning in and it will be oh look at can I use her waystone oh <gasps> oops I just activated it Do, I don't know how this works can somebody explain when I activated it but is this not an activated waystone of Elizabeth I don't get that so now I can go back to spawn. Or I can go to the bells, which is my house. Portal room. Hmm. Let's go there. Let's see what's there. Oh, it's the end. We've been to the end. We have, we have. Oh, look. There it is. I see no dragon in sight. Isn't that cool, though? I love that. Immersive portals. Uh, and then, of course, we can just go back to spawn. And let's see where else we can go. Oh! I did not see these before. So, pumpkin patch, warp... No, we haven't... No, we haven't been here. We have been to the others, but we haven't been here. This is a pretty cool bio... What? Somebody's dragon. Oh, cool. Okay, I don't know whose dragon this is, but um, it might be from the that base over there. So if I open up FTB chunks again, oh, it could be Dream the Axolotls. I don't know. Is that your? It could be Morgan's. Fluffy and Gee, and that's protected spawn. Okay, yeah, I think this is your dragon, is it not? 
Mm-hmm. Dream? It's one of them. Okay, well, it's good good that he hasn't gone far. So he or she, I'm not really sure. We're gonna have to uh, learn about dragon mounts. And there's gonna be some other learning too about, okay, we've been there, we've been there. And you've been to my place. Okay, we'll learn about dragon mounts. I actually have a dragon's egg that I am wanting to hatch. Um, I am going to be building with all of these materials. There's the Aether Dragon Egg. I'm going to be building a dragon um, cavern in here. So I'm just sort of taking taking this all out of the mountain. And my dragon's going to live up here. It'll be a great place for me to fly off on my dragon. Um, we have already built ourselves a twilight portal. So we have twilight forest. forest. Um, this only takes a diamond. Four, you need to fill this up with water and plant vanilla flowers all around it. Twilight forest is an amazing dimension that we will get into later. Um, and I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, Beds are going to be important once you find a base, just because it's easier to play when we set it today. And if we go back now and look, this is called JEI, and you can cycle through all of this to see uh, all of the items that we can craft. And, and it's pretty... That's Tinkers. Okay, cool. There's lots here. Lots here to see, lots to do. Uh, but again, if you are not sure how to start out, remember this is where you're gonna spawn in, here. And I would suggest that you go to one of the warps there I might actually yeah go to one of the warps and then uh, and then what you can do is let's see here I want to actually create some more warps for you hmm uh, there might be some new warps here by the time you watch this video. And then it will be time to first play in vanilla Minecraft. Like play as if you're playing vanilla Minecraft, make yourself some tools, uh, go mining, and then uh, find some redstone and anything else that you might be able to sell back to our, oopsie, our crystal minter. So he, had, he wants redstone dust, coal, lapis, iron, copper, lead, or it looks like you can get a lot for gold. That's pretty good. Mana gems, diamonds are meh, not too bad. Emeralds, you can get a lot of mint, minted crystal for. And moonstone. Uh, there's going to be more to review and discuss. Um, we aren't going to go over our code of conduct just yet, but that's going to happen in the next few days. Um, you're going to want to, oh, look at me. I have, I have some mighty, some pretty decent armor here, don't I? Yeah. It's a very pretty armor. Okay. Um, you will want to make sure that um, you start out in vanilla, like I just mentioned. Um, some of you, we may be having some issues with some of your laptops, so I just want to give you a heads up not to worry about it. Um, we will try our best to get everyone's laptops running with Mythopoeia. 
Um, and what else? There's going to be some things that Mommy Bell's also going to have to go through. Well, I'm going to have to go through with you concerning our room rules, um, going to the bathroom, uh, and we should have the room next door, which is going to be a great place for us to go and stretch our legs. If it is pouring rain outside, um, we are also going to try to get the gym so that we can use that on the really rainy days. But I'm looking forward to the sunny days this week, which um, I've heard we might be getting, which is going to be really cool. And then we're going to go outside and play some fun games that will let us learn each other's names and usernames. And then eventually we'll also be playing Capture the Brick, another game in Hinge Park. Um, I think that's it for now. If anybody has any questions, please, you can ask them now. Um, if your laptops aren't yet ready, again, please be patient. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the game. Oh, here's Spencer Cat. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> I'm just recording a video for everyone. I do think, I think we have TPA. No, we don't. Do we have TPA? I thought we did. Uh, no, that seems odd. Somebody please correct me. I don't understand why. I don't know. I don't get this. Team message, team tag. Can we only teleport to team members? TP deny? Why do I only have TP? Tree? Trigger. Okay, yeah, that is a trigger. For sure it's a trigger. Okay, you guys. Uh, we will see you in the game.